Today we will discuss about transportation problem and finding initial basic feasible solution. So first method is Northwest Corner method. So first we will select the upper left that is the Northwest cell of the transportation matrix and allocate the maximum possible value of x1 x11 which is equal to the minimum of a1 b1 now next if allocation made is equal to the supply available at the first source that is a1 in the first row then move vertically down to the cell 2 1 if allocation made is equal to the demand of the first destination, that is B1 in first column, then move horizontally to the cell 1, 2. Now, if A1 equal to B1, then allocate X11 is equal to A1 or B1 and move to cell 2, 2. Now, continue the process until an allocation is made in the southeast corner cell of the transportation table. Now, we will take one example and solve the problem. Now, solve the transportation problem. Here, uh, the, this table, here in this table, we have to find the initial basic feasible solution using northwest corner method. So, this cell, this cell is the initial cell. From here we have to start. So, here we will check whether supply is greater than demand or not. Here, demand is 5 and supply is 7. So, we will allocate 5. So, in this column, demand will become 0. So, we will move to the right cell. So, remaining supply is 2. So, we will allocate, again we will check whether supply is greater than demand or not. Here, supply is less than demand. So, we will allocate the lower one. So, we will allocate 2. Now, we will go just downwards and we will check that here supply is 9 and demand is 8. But already 2 units, 2 unit demand is allocated to D2. So, we will allocate remaining 6 unit. So, again we will go towards the right cell. And we will allocate in this way. And in this way we will get the allocation in this cell. So total cost will become 19 into 5 plus 13 into 2 plus 13 into 6 plus 40 into 3 plus 70 into 4 plus 20 into 14 equal to rupees 10. One five. Now, the next method is least cost method. Here, instead of choosing the northwest corner cell, we select the cell having the lowest unit cost in the entire table and allocate the minimum of supply or demand values in this cell. Now, step 2. Then, eliminate the row or column in which supply or demand is exhausted. If both the supply and demand values are same, either of the row or column can be eliminated. Here, the smallest unit cost is not unique. Then, if the smallest unit cost is not unique, then we have to select the cell where maximum allocation can be made. Next, 
we have to repeat the process with the next lowest unit cost and continue until the entire available supply at various sources and demand at various destinations is satisfied. Next. So we will take this example here. 8 is the minimum cost sale. So we will allocate here. Again here we will check whether demand is less than supply or not. Here demand is 8 and supply is 18. So we will allocate 8 here. Okay. Next we will check which one will be the small, uh, lowest cost. So then we find out that S1 B4. So that cost is 10. So there again we will check whether supply is less than demand or not. Here supply is less than demand. So we will allocate supply. And in the next step we will eliminate that particular column. And from the rest of the columns we will check. Rest of the cells we will check which cell is having the minimum cost. So in this way we will allocate. And we will get the cost, total transportation cost by this method is 8 into 8 plus 7 into 10 plus 20 into 7 plus 40 into 7 plus 17 to 2 plus 40 into 3 that is rupees, rupees 814. Here we can easily see that least cost method involves a lower cost than the northwest corner method. Now, the next method is Vogel's approximation method. So, here instead of finding out the lowest cost sale, we calculate penalty for each row and column by taking the difference between the two smallest unit costs. This penalty or extra cost has to be paid if one fails to allocate the minimum unit transportation cost. Now next, select the row or column with the highest penalty and select the minimum unit cost of that row or column. Then allocate the minimum of supply or demand values in that cell. If there is a tie, then Select the cell where maximum allocation could be made. Next, adjust the supply and demand and eliminate the satisfied row or column. If a row or column are satisfied simultaneously, only of them is, is eliminated and the other one is assigned to a zero value. Any row or column having zero supply or demand cannot be used in calculating future penalties. So, we have to repeat this process until all the supply sources and demand destinations are satisfied. So, again we will take one example. Here we are calculating the differences and we will get the penalty maximum here. and here, the sale having minimum cost is this one. So, we, we will allocate checking whether demand is less than supply or not. We will allocate here. And in again, we will calculate the penalty and getting the lowest cost sale having the highest penalty here. We allocate here. Then next, this cell, next this cell and next this cell and this cell. So, here the total transportation cost is 18 into 8 plus 19 into 5 plus 20 into 10 plus 10 into 2 plus 14 into 7 plus 60 into 2. That is rupees 779. So, we can see that Vogel's approximation method or VAM involves the lowest cost than northwest corner method and least cost method and hence 
this is the most preferred method of finding the initial basic feasible solution so that's it for today